Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for being here today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome. I appreciate all of you. Um, I also wanna thank you guys again for all of your comments. I know I haven't responded to any on my last video, but in all honesty, uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday, I was knocked out. Everything that I've been dealing with for the last week or two weeks, I think just finally caught up with me. And I haven't really done much of anything. I, I did do a batch of fire starters, but it took me two days to do it because I was just doing a little bit at a time. Uh, just really exhausted, but I do feel better. I, I, you know, got rest. I went to bed early uh, both days and I feel a little bit more alive today. So I thought, well, I did say I was going to try to get a video either Thursday or Friday and I decided to do it tonight. Um, so... Today's video or tonight's video is going to be on AWP. This is one of those videos where I do think that it's going to require more than one read, but we're going to see what kind of information we can get. Uh, I do want to kind of focus this on um, three things, basically. Uh, an overall read on Jared, an overall read on Jared and his wife's relationship, and then an overall read on the guys as a whole, as a whole team. I am not going to read on specific guys uh, because I don't know them. Um, I absolutely supported AWP during the Kylie Rodney case, but that was kind of my introduction to them. I had heard of them, but I had never watched any of their uh, their episodes on YouTube. Uh, in fact, even to this day, the only one that I've watched is the one that they released on Kylie Rodney. Um, so I didn't know these guys. And as a matter of fact, uh, I do know Doug. All right. I know Doug. I don't know why. I, well, I've kind of gotten to know a few of them as this whole thing has been coming out. Uh, but early on, during Kylie Rodney's case, I actually thought that Doug was the owner. I had no idea. I didn't even know Jared or anything about Jared. Uh, I thought it was Doug, and I don't know why I thought that. I don't know. I think he was just the face that I connected to AWP. He was the one that I seen the most out on these interviews, and just the way he comes across, you know, I just got that impression. So, uh, as far as naming guys and pulling cards on, you know, specific guys, I'm not going to do. Um, it's just going to be kind of as a whole group, like I said. So let's get started. I am starting out with a Love Oracle. I use this deck a lot in my private reads. Oh, also, if you are interested in a private read, just go ahead and email me. Uh, I am scheduling a couple of days out, but it's still fairly fast as far as turnaround time. But I will have my email in the description and you can send me an email if you're interested. But I, I use this deck a lot in my private reads, not just for love. I like the messages on the deck and I think it can be used for anything across the board. But we are going to be using it to kind of get an idea of what Jared and his wife's relationship is like. All right, so let's see what we got here. Jared Lysick and his wife's relationship. What is the energy around that relationship? What's the energy around that relationship? Call upon my spirit guides to ask for assistance in this read. So call upon the spirit guides of Jared and his wife to come through any messages. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm going to pull a couple. We have Ascension or Ascending. Um, I like you. Coffee cup. Not today. And let's pull one more from the middle. The Chaser. Huh. Chaser. Codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. So I'm... Let me see. We've got Ascension. Transcending obstacles, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, flirting, uh, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoidance, conversation, calling person, boundaries, still angry. All right. So for the most part, I actually get that they are a, uh, they're a team. Okay. I don't pick up anything here that makes me think, uh, you know, if there's some toxicity in this marriage, then 
my guess would be it would be from both sides. So I don't really see his wife coming out against him. Okay, she is going to, I think, based on this draw, I mean, she, she could, you know, very well could. But I feel like based on this, this draw here, uh, it, you know, she is going to support her husband. Now, whether she knew or not, maybe it's hard to tell. There is a card here that talks about boundaries and being angry. Okay, avoiding conversations, not dealing with things and hurt. So there could be some issues that they've went through, like all marriages, right? All marriages have issues from time to time. Um, so that's not anything, you know, spectacular, but there could have been some serious issues along the way that have really caused some lasting pain and hurt. But at the end of the day, uh, they are absolutely, to me, a couple, a strong uh, unit that is going to defend each other to the nth degree. Codependent relationship. Yeah, let me pull a couple more. Let me see here. What's the energy surrounding Jared? What's the energy surrounding Jared? Heart with a key. Lightning. Ah, that's now. That's what's, ah, coffin. Okay. So heart with a key. What's this one here? Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. Yeah, they're a match made in heaven. They are, uh, you know, literally the perfect couple. If you could imagine the perfect couple. So that could be good. That could be not so good. Uh, and it could be a little bit of both. Um, you know, so there's that. And then we have the lightning strike. So sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So the lightning to me, I look at that as kind of like the tower. And then followed by pretty much the death card, the coffin. So we've got some two major cards here coming out. We've got the tower and the death. That is the shakeup that they are experiencing right now. Okay, so, you know, maybe Jared, I, I don't know if Jared has been quiet. Um, I kind of lost track these past couple of days of who's come out. I know that there was a week there last week where different guys were coming out and making videos and talking about the situation. I don't know if Jared has come out and said anything, um, but if he hasn't, and I don't think he has, as, at least as far as I know, uh, this is something that is causing major, major issues behind closed doors. I mean, he's not just sitting there, uh, you know, twiddling his thumbs. He's freaking out, okay? This is, this is something that they are dealing with behind closed doors, and it is a stressful situation, and it has literally ended the way they're, ended their life as they know it um, from here on out. Okay, we've got the death card. So beginnings, endings, growth, change, transitions. This is definitely a change. This is going to change the future of their relationship. Are they going to stay together? You know, I, I based on that first draw, I feel like they're, like I said, they're really a strong unit, um, whether that's good or bad, but a unit nonetheless. But they are definitely going through it. All right, so let's go ahead and do a pull on Jared, okay, and see what his energy is. Uh, or, well, do I have one that's upside down? Yes, I do. I need to pay attention to what I'm picking up. Okay. All right, let's give this a shuffle. I think I have another one facing up. I need to pay attention when I'm done using the cards and putting them back. Okay. Okay, what's going on with Jared? Hmm. It's my fault because I have one card facing up. I see it every time I shuffle. And I'm, that that was me, but I'm going to take that card because I've seen it. Uh, and it is the devil, okay? So that card is, that card is coming out. Let me grab it while it's here at the top. Okay, so that one's coming out. Okay. 
Okay, what do we got here? Ace of Wands reversed. Look at all that fire. Um, he is definitely a passionate guy. Uh, he could potentially have some anger issues. Uh, and I would say with the devil and the ace of wands reversed like that, he has, he has drive, obviously, because he has started this whole thing with AWP. Uh, I don't know what else he does as far as businesses or, you know, what he did for a living prior to that. But this is a guy who really has a lot of drive to do things. But with the devil coming out, you know, he does have these uh, traits of doing, possibly doing things for the wrong reason or having some sort of ulterior motive. All right. This should be upright. Okay. But even with it upright, with it next to the devil, it, there's some concerns. Uh, so the fact that it's coming out like this tells me that there's, there's definitely some ill ill motives underneath probably most of everything that he does. There's got to be something in it for him. Okay. He's not one to just do for the good of it. He's one to do, you know, for what he's going to get out of it. All right. All right, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. The Magician, yeah, sneaky, sneaky, manipulative. King of Swords, not a nice guy. He's not coming out as a nice guy. The Knight of Cups, so there might be some flirtations there that's coming out. Sometimes that Knight of Cups can make me think that. And then we have Temperance reversed. So look at this okay we've got the devil on one end and we've got the temperance card reversed uh we've got three major arcanas in this pool we have the magician as well so let's take those three with these two on the end that tells me that there is definitely something not right with him okay uh there's something off balance okay something that, yeah there, there's something there uh, he is very, I would say, manipulative. And again, this kind of goes with the first two cards. This is drive. This is all about manifestation. And, and you know, if there's a will, there's a way, right? And so if there's a will, he's going to find a way. The problem is, is that when this card comes out reversed like this, you will get to that destination or that want, whatever it is that you want, any way necessary. Any way necessary. Okay, so right now, to me, the energy, this is kind of his overall personality as well, but the energy is, what can he do to get out of this? What can he do to turn this around and benefit him somehow? That's what I see with this pull. He's got something up his sleeve. He's got something, but it's not the right way, all right? Um, and then we've got the Knight of Swords, and that's reversed too. So the Knights are all about action, they're like the verbs of the deck, all right? They each have their own style of making something happen, but they're about making something happen at the end of the day. The Knight of Swords is the fast one. It's the fastest card in the deck, okay? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is more, you know, methodical or maybe strategic. The Knight of Swords is, you know, very determined and kind of more a slower pace, uh, but steady. And then I look at the Knight of Cups as more of the leisure pace, okay? So they're all going to their destination. They're just going in a different way, in a different style. Uh, this one here is the Knight of Swords, the fast one, all right? But it's reversed. So it makes me feel like he has taken some time, okay? That's taken some time. He has halted everything, I think that's why if he hasn't come out, that's why, okay? He is working on things behind the scenes. He is trying to potentially maybe even uh, bribe, okay? This is that kind of flirtatious thing. And remember I said that when I, I seen that card. So there's that part of his personality trait where he could be flirtatious as well. 
But there's also something about this that's making me feel like he could potentially be trying to, um, you know, I'm seeing manipulation, but I'm seeing it in like, I'm going to kill you with kindness and I'm going to offer you the world to make this go away kind of thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if behind the scenes, anybody who is coming out, uh, whether it's his cousin, whether it's his sister, uh, you know, there's, he's, he's trying to work on them, I think, quietly. Okay. Uh, you know, you don't have to do this, you don't, but it, but it's beyond their control at this point, right? He's been indicted. So it, it's not really going to work on that side. Um, and I, I haven't seen the justice card yet. So, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't think that there's any control that he has over the situation, but he is going to try and he is right now trying to figure out a plan. He's taking his time doing it, though. He, he's waiting it out. Uh, he is very intelligent. There's no doubt about it. He is a very intelligent man. He's coming out as the king of swords. Um, you know, very sharp businessman, obviously. So this, to me, just kind of confirms that's what he is or who he is. But again, there's this element of scheming, you know, with the, the king of swords and the uh, magician, very smart, sharp businessman, but he will cut your throat. He will cut your throat trying to get to the top. He is not one to, um, you know, he, he that's just who he is. All right. So pretty much this first couple of pulls here, uh, in my opinion, things that have come out about him, we don't necessarily know that it's fact, right? People will give their opinions and they'll say, yeah, I met him once and he was this or he was that. But we really don't know unless we know him or unless you know him personally. But seeing these types of cards, to me, if anything, validates what some people are saying about him. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, so let's now see if we can get some information on Jared and the team. So I want to know the energy around the team. How do they work together? Do they get along? What's going on with that? What's going on with the team? What's the energy between Jared and his team? Okay, so we have the Four of Swords reversed. That to me is kind of what is happening, right? The brakes are kind of being hit. We have the eight of swords reversed. So they're, they're worried. Yeah, we have the 10 of pentacles. I was just getting ready to say, what haven't we not seen yet? We haven't seen pentacles. And now we've got the 10 and the seven. Oh, okay, the Three of Swords reversed and the Chariot. All right, so they're all wondering how the hell they're going to go forward from this. Uh, I think overall, they will be able to go forward from this, okay, independently away from Jared. Uh, at least some of them. I can't speak on all of them, but some of them, this is a good sign that, you know, if there are people that were working with him, um, you know, that didn't know, uh they're going to be able to, I think, clean up the pieces and go forward. I don't know how long that's going to take. Uh, and I don't know if each one of them will do it. But this is them kind of, you know, leaving leaving the nest and going their own way. In the meantime, the Four of Swords reversed. This is that rest card, that mental rest. So with that being reversed and it being right next to the Eight of Swords reversed, you know, they're not in good some of them, again, I don't know about all of them. I mean, I know the one guy that came out with his son, um, his son had worked there uh, as well, or I don't, yeah, I think he was working there as a camera guy or something. Um, I can't think of the guy's name, uh, but he, you know, I don't necessarily know if he would fall into this category because I think he left a while ago, but we still consider him as part of the team. So this isn't going to apply to all of them. But the ones that are still there and haven't come out and haven't or the ones that were recently there and recently came out and, you know, put their resignation in, 
this is causing a lot of stress for them. And I, I can't help but to think that there's a couple uh, that are still there, okay? Uh, I, I think Doug is, I think. I'm not sure if Doug is still there. I, I don't think he has put in his resignation. But I, uh, besides Doug, I don't know who else has stayed. Um, but there's a feeling of, I can't leave. I, I just can't leave. I, I, I'm, I'm trapped here. This actually came out reversed. So not really knowing how to get out of this situation is what I'm picking up. Um, in my mind, I have Doug. Okay, I'll be honest with you. In my mind, I have Doug. For some reason, my mind is stuck on Doug, and, and it has been on Doug from the get-go. Like I said in the beginning of this read, I felt like I associated Doug to being the owner. Um, so my mind is on Doug when I'm looking at these two cards. Uh, you know, is there a feeling of being trapped and not knowing how to go forward? I, I think so. There might be some confusion there, and he just doesn't know what to do. Money is an issue. Money is an issue. Okay, money is coming up. The ten of the the ten of pentacles. This is a money maker. All right, this AWP organization or whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, this brings in money. Okay, um, and that is important to whoever this is, whether it's Doug or whether it's not Doug, whether it's you know Jared or somebody else. Money is important to them. Okay, there's no question. They have to feed their family. Uh, they have to. This is their source of life, right? Um, so there's got to be something there unless they're just individual wealthy millionaires and they have the ability to volunteer so many weeks out of a year. Um, but most people don't have that. And so this is this is a lot to do with money. And then we have the seven of pentacles. So we have the 10 and then we drop down to the seven. So there is a worry about decrease in money. All right. That is a big concern. Are, are, am I going to be able to provide for my family? How is this going to affect my, my income? How is this going to affect my family? I, I believe it already has. Okay, so I'm assuming that with their YouTube channel, and I don't know, you know, anything about all of the revenue that they have coming in from different sources, but just with their YouTube channel, uh, I'm sure that views have went down. And that does make a difference. So if you're used to bringing in, I don't know, 30000 a month on YouTube, and I, I, I'd say that loosely because I have no idea. But for somebody that has millions... Ah! I'm so sorry. Um... I believe they have millions of subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. They're making some pretty decent money, uh, you know, as far as YouTube revenue. Um, and, and so I wouldn't be surprised if that has already shown a decline. Uh, as far as their merch, there's probably a decline in that as far as their donations. So it has already decreased, and that is concerning as well. Um, a lot, a lot of worry, a lot, and, and that's not surprising, but I, like I said, I can't help but to think Doug when I'm doing this read. Okay. That is, that's who I have in my mind right now. All right. I know I wanted to do this as a general of overall energy with the guys, but let me just pull around on Doug specifically and see what comes out. So what's going on with Doug from AWP? What's going on in his mind? What's going on? Okay. What do we have here? We have the three of pentacles. Again, we've got financial, we've got money concerns, trying to figure this out, trying to, trying to work through this problem. Uh, you know, that's a teamwork card. So who's he working with? He's working with somebody trying to figure out what he's going to do from here on out. He knows he's going to take a hit in money. He knows it. The two of swords. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. He has no idea what to do. Six of cups, six of pentacles reversed. So... Yeah, Doug is really in limbo at this point. He he just can't make a decision, and he is worried about his family. That That is, to me, what his main concern is. We've got the Six of Cups. So children, family, 
this is also a card of nostalgia. Uh, you know, he is worried that he's not going to be able to provide as he has been. And that's his main concern. He doesn't quite yet know what to do. This is a, you know, not being able to, you know, make a, make a decision. He, he just doesn't see an, he, there, there's no good outcome to this as far as Doug, you know, as far as his mind is concerned, there's no good outcome. If he resigns, then that could bring a whole host of problems. If he doesn't, what is he going to do? Is it going to last? So he is really having a huge dilemma. And the majority of it, uh, you know, is these two cards here. So family and money. This right here. Six of six of pentacles. This is an exchange card. Uh, Okay, that, that pretty much tells me what Doug is worried about. Uh, family and being able to provide financially for that family. So that also tells me that he is not some, you know, independent, wealthy millionaire. He needs this, which also tells me that he was probably being paid. Okay, I, I know that there's been some things that, you know, it's kind of confusing. W were they volunteers? Were they not volunteers? All I can say is that there was some financial gain for at least Doug, okay, while he was working or volunteering for AWP, because that is one of the main concerns that he has now. Okay, so let's pull another deck here and see what's going on with uh, the charges uh, as far as the indictment and what could potentially come of that. Jared. And if you're new here, uh, I just want to let you guys know that I do add reversals in while I'm shuffling, and this is just how I add my reversals. Um, you know, I just grab a few and I flip them over like that. I never change them. Uh, so every time I do it, I don't know if they're going up or down. Um, but that's what I'm doing in case you're wondering. And you can add reversals. There's no right or wrong way. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. All right. Eight of pentacles. So, uh, money again. That's a work card. That's a... He, he's definitely, he is uh, doing his damnedest behind closed doors to uh, figure this out. And he might, he might think that he can get out of it through money. You know, could he pay his way out? Is that by, you know, maybe hiring the best attorney that, you know, he could possibly find? Maybe. Uh, let's see what else comes out. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. Uh, the Chariot card reversed. So it came out earlier and I felt like that was overall the team because that's what I had asked. But this one here is about uh, Jared in the legal situation he's in right now. And that's, to me, it tells me that he, whatever he does, he's not going to be successful. Uh, in trying to get out of this, or even if he has, you know, the best lawyer in the world, he's still going to have some consequences. He's not going to get the outcome that he wants. Not for the lack of trying, though. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles reversed. And the Justice card. Wow. I was wondering if that was going to make its way out, and it did. So I... Uh, <sighs> I, I don't see him getting out of this. I really don't. This is he, He's going to be whatever his motives are. Remember, he's the magician. Okay, He's the king of swords and the magician and the devil. Okay, He's got a little bit of all of it. And that is kind of a, a crazy person. That's not a person that you want to come across uh, you know, in any kind of any other situation. But this is a, this is a situation that he is not going to have control over. He can't buy his way out or he can't manipulate the system or, you know, it is 
uh, in the court's hands right now, okay? I don't see this going very good for him. But like I said, not for lack of trying. He is getting all of his ducks in a row, okay? He is working hard. He is working overtime to make sure that, and he has, he, to me, I wouldn't be surprised if he has more than one lawyer. Uh, I'm looking at these little elves here or whatever they are, gnomes. That's, those are his assistants, okay? So he is probably got more than one lawyer and he's definitely calling the shots. I wouldn't be surprised if he is the one that, you know, is kind of, well, I don't know. It depends on the lawyer. Uh, he, to me, is kind of taking charge of everything and saying, hey, this is what I think we should do. Uh, he, I, I'm not picking up that he's the type that would take advice from anyone, even if it's a lawyer. Um, you know, so he him being the main person here tells me that he's the one that's kind of saying that this is this is what I want, this is what I'm hoping for, um, this is what we should do, uh, and it's not going to work. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, I think, let me look here, we've got the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's not going to work. He's going to put a lot of effort into it. He's going to, he's, he's, this is going to be a battle. This is going to be a battle unlike he has ever faced before. Look at all the pain on her, okay? She's got her hands dirty on this one. So he, but it's coming out in reverse. And so I feel like he's going to go through quite a bit. And he's going to put 100% of his effort and energy and his money into this. And it's not going to work. It's not going to be the result that he wants. Um and then the the queen of pentacles so i i do feel like this is his wife okay and although in the beginning i did feel like they were um a unit which cards came out again let me go back here we have we had the ascension we had i like you coffee cup not today uh heart with a key lightning and coffin okay so although they are a tight union okay they are going to stick it out together it doesn't mean that they are going to stick it out happily all right so they they absolutely are a team she is going to i think support him but will they make it through uh, she's going to support him at least in the beginning will it make it through all the way to the results that I, I don't know, okay, because I do think that there is going to be legal justice in this case, all right, it's coming out in the upright side, so that makes me feel good, uh, like I said, it's not going to turn out in his favor. All right, so now let me go ahead and um, pull, I just want to see if I can get an overall outlook for the team as a whole, let me just use the universal. Um, the overall outlook as a whole for the entire team. All right. What's the future of AWP team members? What's the future of AWT team members? Whoops. What's the future of the AWP team members? I'd be curious if the um, chariot comes out again. What's the future of the overall team members of AWP? Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right, so I don't think that I, I I look at this the the reversal as AWP. Right, I I think that that is pretty much financially over. Okay, um, and that's going to be a loss of income and a lot uh, that that's a loss of income period. Uh, I know that there's, like I said earlier, there's debate on who's a volunteer, who isn't, who got paid, who got paid what. Um, there were people that were getting paid. Okay. I don't know who, but there's people that were bringing in money uh, in, 
in particular uh, on Doug's pull, he is concerned about the loss of money. So he has to be getting something, all right? He has to be getting something. Uh, you know, so going forward, this card here to me represents AWP. So this is going to have to be, if they do go forward, it's going to have to be in some other way. Um, but they're all going to take a financial hit. The wheel reversed, or sorry, not the wheel, the world. Ugh, death card. Yeah, uh, okay, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so um, just with these four cards here, we, we've got the world card reversed, and we have the death card, and then we have that fast card, right, the Knight of Swords, but that's also reversed, and that has come out reversed before in this reading. So, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, you know, instead of a burst of energy, I look at it as a sudden halt. And, it, you know, this is just devastating. This is just devastating for the team. Uh, it's affecting all of them, the world card. It's affecting each and every member in a negative way. Uh, as of yet, right now, I mean, I, I, you know, with the death card, you know, when there's an ending, there's also a new beginning. And, Although I don't think that that new beginning is going to happen right away, uh, there's still, you know, that that's a possibility where some of them could go out and, you know, start something new um, or just have to, you know, find something else to do. But as of right now, um, things aren't looking good for any of them. All right. So will they, will any of them start out... Um, you know, maybe another team or another organization. Okay. The sun card reverse. This is not a good outlook. This is not a good outlook for the team. King of Cups. The moon card. The queen of cups. All right. So let me bring out the moon card. Again, we have a lot of major arcanas. We have, what, one, two, three, four major arcanas. So this is very, th this is huge for these guys. This is huge. I mean, it is huge, right? Um, and not in a good way. The, the, I feel like a lot of them, especially the ones that, you know, like the, the guy that I mentioned earlier that came out with his son, it sounds like he quit quite a while ago so he like I said I don't really consider him as part of the team when I'm reading on the team uh it, you know he's not necessarily affected by this the way the other ones are so when I say team I mean the guys that are there the, the guys that are in that circle okay the circle so these guys are absolutely not knowing what to do and there's a couple like I said that have come out and you know, separated themselves from AWP, but I think that there's still a couple that haven't, and especially those, and I believe Doug is one of them, uh, just is at a pass, just doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what to do. This is like a major life change, and he doesn't want to make one step for fear that it's the wrong step. So he's just kind of coasting along. And the problem with coasters is that if they feel like they need to do something and they don't do it, sometimes that change is forced onto you and it's a tower moment. So, you know, Doug, although it's a, it's a complicated situation, I feel like he, he's going to have to, he's going to have to decide what he wants to do sooner or later. But I get this feeling that he may not. And then his decision is going to be forced onto him, and he might not like that. Um, I think that, you know, with the moon card coming out, you know, things are things are coming to light. That's what that card is. Uh, is there more things to come out? Maybe, because that is a card of discovery, illumination. Um, so we might very well hear more things. Um, let me 
see, and then the Sun card. So I, I just, it, you, and, and because this is a question on the team members going forward, uh, there might be more things that come out either about the team members or from the team members. As far as them going forward with, you know, like another team like AWP, I don't see that. I, I don't see that, at least not for a while. I, I would say, you know, I'm getting from this poll here, I'm getting about a year's time. Okay. I'm thinking about a year before anybody would even think about doing something like that. But I don't really get that feeling that they're going to do that. Uh, they may try, but it might not be successful because it's just going to need some time to kind of blow over. Uh, and then we've got the King and Queen of Cups. Hmm. I look at that as, uh, in this case, husband and wife, and I don't think that it's specifically any one team member. I think that anybody who is part of that team that has a family, they are extra devastated, and that is their main concern is, you know, supporting their family, providing for their family. Uh, like I said, I don't think any of them are, are, you know, private millionaires and they needed this. This was their, this was their source of income. This was their way of living, way of surviving. Um, let me pull a couple more cards here. What's the future? It's hard to pull a, a reading on the future of several guys as a team because they're all individual guys uh, and they're all going to go on their own path. Some may do something completely different. Some may try to stay in the same situation. So it's really hard for me to read on all of them like that as a whole. Okay, so it's, it's just, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but as a you know, anything with them together, I, I, I don't see that. I don't see that happening with what came out. That's done. That That's over. That ship has sailed. All right, yeah. Yeah, this is just not knowing what to do not i mean it really to me the cards are eerily accurate because this is exactly how you might think they are feeling right now so uh, just absolutely devastation not seeing a way out of this they're just they're they're literally just Taking it day by day, taking it day by day and not really knowing what to do. So I think it's too early to really do a pull on that. Um, you know, like I said in the beginning, this is going to have to be one of those reads where there's a couple of reads on it and things may change because, you know, that that's one thing that's 100 percent fact is that, you know, things change every day. Right. We can't stop change. So, you know, once these men have some time to kind of digest what's happening to them and their lives and their livelihood and things kind of, you know, time, time passes, they might, these cards are going to change. All right. These cards are going to change, but not right now. This is not, uh, you know, a good outcome right now. They don't even, they're not even, I'm, I'm picking up here that they're not even absorbing what has happened yet so it's way too early for them to start thinking what am I going to do what's my next step what's my next move uh, they haven't even gotten to that point they don't know some of them like I said at least you know Doug and I've said Doug quite a bit in this reading um, but uh, he he is literally not knowing what to do or say even tomorrow much less six months from now um, so yeah, this is one of those ones where I'm going to have to do another read on it, but that is the first read for AWP. Uh, I feel like, you know, pretty much validates things that we are hearing about Jared. So uh, that really makes me kind of not doubt things that come out about his personality because he, he he's, uh, he's something else. I mean, the devil, the magician, the king of swords, that's 
that's intense. Uh, that's a very intense personality, uh, not in a good way. But okay, guys, I'm going to end this and get this up for you. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend coming up, and I will see you guys very soon. Okay, bye.